Problems for Stephen Colbert are not going away. After a number of complaints, the FCC now says it's going to investigate, and their response will depend on whether or not they deem his remarks to be obscene. One of President Trump's harshest critics is in hot water this morning, now under investigation by the FCC for possibly being indecent or obscene after delivering this scathing off-color joke about the president. You talk like a sign language gorilla who got hit in the head. In fact, the only thing your mouth is good for is being Vladimir Putin's holster. After an instant online backlash, the joke caught the attention of the Federal Communications Commission and its chairman. I have had a chance to see the clip now, and so uh, as we get complaints, and we've gotten a number of them, uh, we are going to take the facts that uh, we find, and we are going to apply the law as it's been uh, uh, set out by the Supreme Court and other courts, and uh, we'll take the appropriate action. Appropriate action could mean a fine, and while that's not unprecedented in recent years, it has become uncommon. One high-profile indecency case, Janet Jackson's infamous wardrobe malfunction during the Super Bowl halftime show in 2004. The FCC initially levied a $550,000 fine against CBS for that incident, but the fine was later struck down in court. Sign language gorilla who got hit in When the, the network fact, first the aired Colbert's joke, his mouth was blurred, holster. and the offending word leaped out. Still, am I still the host? I'm still the host! As for Colbert, he's acknowledged his language was harsh. But he's not apologizing. And after critics blasted the joke, calling it homophobic, one of Colbert's guests, actor Jim Parsons, who was openly gay, laughed it off. You taught me new terms. I mean, oh. as a gay man, yes. I didn't know certain things that you taught. That's, that's uh, it's titillating. I wouldn't call it homophobic. But Colbert isn't the only late night host taking fire. Now, HBO's Bill Maher is also facing criticism for a crude joke about Ivanka Trump. What do you make of uh, Ivanka? Implying an incestuous relationship with her father. <laughs> Online, critics pounced. I can't believe Bill Maher just did that, said one viewer. Another slammed the host for poor taste. On set with Mar Friday was journalist Gabe Sherman. I felt uncomfortable being on set as a journalist. You know, I didn't know where the segment was going, but at the same time, Bill Maher's a comedian and he was really uh, being provocative, and that's, you know, part of his brand. Mar's show airs on HBO, which is outside of the FCC's jurisdiction for regulating indecency. As for Colbert, the Late Show host may come out of this unscathed. His comments aired at 11.30. Now, within the FCC's long-established safe harbor time between 10 p.m. and 6 a.m., when the commission does not regulate indecent material. CBS declined our request for comment. The FCC tells NBC News the fact that a complaint is reviewed doesn't speak one way or another another as to whether it has any merit. Huh. All right. But Stephanie they're going to look into it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Steph, thank you. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.